Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am super excited to share a small Scentsy haul, including the Scentsy With box. So I have it right here. Um, I've seen a couple of these videos, but I feel like there's been some like variants this month. Maybe I'm wrong. Also, I thought it was a bit odd. I ordered a couple things, which I'm gonna share with you, as well as the Whiff Box, and they packaged everything in the Whiff Box box, and like this is what they shipped it in. I've never had that before. It was just, I, it was very interesting. I just seen like the Whiff Box sitting on my step, and I was like, I thought I ordered some other things, and I opened the box, and they were in there. So, very strange. I've never had that before, but efficient, I guess, nonetheless. So. I got some scent circles because I love sending these to my customers in their happy mail. So I got some fairly popular ones, I think. I got Luna, I got Sunkissed Citrus, but this is actually for Corey. Um, Amazon Rain, Johnny Appleseed. I'm not a fan of this, but a ton of people love it. Squeeze the Day, is this one? Oh, I thought maybe I had it, something on the back, but Squeeze the Day, a nice summery scent. And then Watermelon Tangerine. This one's like, there we go. <laughs> so I got a six pack because I knew Corey wanted one. And like I said, I love including these in my customer happy mail. I hope you guys love getting them as well. I just feel like it's a really nice way to say thank you and they're fairly flat and easy to mail out. So the other thing that I picked up, which I wanted to include it with something else because it was just one bar, it is the new Blooming Beach. I should have pulled up the scent notes for this. What was I thinking? I'm pretty sure it's floral. I've seen a couple people haul it and I'm a little bit nervous. So this is part of the Mother's Day collection. They came out with a warmer, um, they came out with this bar, and then they came out with a body cream and scrub bundle in the Blooming Beach scent and the Mahalo coconut scent. So this is, it says, the surf's up and the sun's out as notes of beach roses and blush peony join sea jasmine to usher in the fun. So really not in my real house, but I've really been trying to just try all of the newer fragrances that are released, whether through its through my Scentsy Club, if it's a more like limited time offer or just getting a bar and trying it out. Just cause I wanna know what you guys, I want to let you know guys, I want to let you guys know <laughs> what I think. So let's see. Okay, it reminds me a little bit of the Petal Pals with the rose, but it's definitely like beachier. The bottom's more floral but not the roses on the top. I don't hate it. The top almost reminds me of like a scent from like a relative's house. Is that weird? It smells familiar. The top reminds me, I think it's the rose of the Petal Pals. It's not the same by any means. It kind of reminds me of like Petal Pals beachy cousin. I am interested to warm this. I thought the rose was gonna be a little bit more dominant, but also it was just outside. I find that when I let my bars, like I bring them inside, I let them sit. Sometimes some other stuff comes out, you know how it goes. So now let's get into the Whiff Box goodies. So they uh, included this little pamphlet. Um, it says, today will be a good day. I do wanna let you guys know, actually, side note, over the weekend, I planted my seeds from the Life's a Garden collection, the basil and the parsley. I'll let you guys know how they turn out. I really hope that <laughs> I can get them to grow. I started them though, so we'll see if anything happens. Okay, it says today is a good day. It says daily affirmations. Cut out these affirmation cards and post them wherever you might need a little inspiration or a daily pickup. Oh, that's, I like that. Okay, so it says like, I deserve good things, I'm enough, I choose peace, look for the joy, I choose happiness. You can like cut out these little cards. I really like that. I also think it'd be fun to cut these out and like fold them up and put them in a little hat, basket, whatever, and like pull one out every morning and like read it, you know, just like today's gonna be a good day. I 
really like that. That's very cute and very like springy, summery with the packaging there, the like co colors and stuff. Okay, let's get into the goodies. So, um, starting with the non-wax, I guess you could say. We have a scent circle. Ooh, actually, the, we have a scent circle in lavender cotton. So, lavender cotton is... I want to say it's kind of like a laundry scent. I mean, cotton with lavender. So I might actually, I don't think this would necessarily be fabulous for my car because it's lavender. I might actually put this in with like where the towels are, like in our closet or somewhere like that, even like a sock drawer, something to keep it fresh, but somewhere where it'd be more appropriate. I might try and hang it in the master closet with the towels. I think that might be fun. And I haven't done that with any scent circles. So this one might be a good one to try that with. Um, other non-wax items, we have a Now and Zen hand cream. This is Sunny Grapefruit and Chamomile. I find it really interesting that they threw this in here because I'm pretty sure this came in another whiff box like a couple months ago. So either they must have like a lot of overstock of now and Zen, um, cause that seems odd that they would put it in like so close to each other. However, I'm using the hand cream that came in, like whatever this came last time, I'm using it. Um, the notes are sunny grapefruit and chamomile. At first I was like, what does that smell like? And now that I'm using it, it kind of is like a slightly masculine type of smell. It's very, very good. I'm highly, um, I'm really actually enjoying it. So at first the like grapefruit and chamomile kind of threw me off. I wouldn't say it's like fruity. It almost to me leans a bit masculine. So if you were like, I'm not exactly sure about this scent, I think it would be really nice in like a body wash if it's almost like gender neutral. Um, because it's not like super men's cologne, but it kind of gives that type of vibe, just like clean, masculine type of scent. So I really enjoy it. Um, another non-wax item, we have a room spray in Sand Swept. So I didn't love this in the wax and it was kind of light, but I'm finding some of the scents in the wax that I didn't like. I'm actually like, they're decent in the room spray. Yeah, this one's okay. I probably end up putting this either bringing it to work for the bathroom or putting it in Corey's bathroom. It, it just has like a weird, um, it has a weird note that I can't put my finger on. Um, also with these room sprays, you want to make sure they have like, do they have oil in them? I, I'm pretty sure they have oil in them. You want to like shake them up to like make sure everything is mixed. Um, and it's not like an aerosol. It's not going to like, um, come out. It, it's like a mist. It's not an aerosol, if that makes sense. So um, you got to be a little bit careful. Like you want to shake it up, make sure it's not like oil droplets going everywhere. You like shake it up real good. So put that right back there for now. And then the last non-wax item, I'm very excited for this. Um, it's heavy, that's for sure. It is a big Scentsy Soak in Luna. I love Luna, you guys. Okay, Luna, does it have notes on here? Jasmine, sweet pea, berries, and sandalwood. If you look up the notes online, like on the Scentsy website, there's like 10 things. Like It is amazing. Um, it is in the floral category, but I'm telling you guys, if you don't think you like florals, try Luna. It is like the best. Any form would recommend. Like it is very, very good. So I'm really excited to have it in the bath soap. I think this is like a perfect scent for nighttime and the bedroom. I love the scent circle in my car. It's so fresh. So I'm, I'm really excited for this. And another bath soak. They sent one of these in January in aloe water and cucumber. And we're almost done with that bag. We have been absolutely loving it. Even Corey's been using it. Um, I'm really excited about Luna. So I'm going to put this right next to this guy right there. Um, let's move on to the wax. So 
In here we have a bar of the scent of the month. They generally do this. This is Plumeria Peach. So let me tell you, Plumeria Peach is ripe pineapple and luscious peach blend sweetly over a bed of blooming Plumeria. And it's in, it's in the fruity category. So I have some of this from the bars in my kit and the new bars um, for the scent of the month are coming with these designs on the back. This bar is just plain. So that's the difference there. I find with this Plumeria Peach, to me, it's not super strong. I feel like I've heard some people say it's like a powerhouse, which I personally don't feel is the case. What I find is for like the first four or five hours, I'm getting the more like fruity end. And then in the next four or five hours, the floral comes out more, which the fruits are more of the like top notes and the floral is more of the bid or the mid notes. And then um, it says raspberry, raspberry woods, amber and musk are the base notes. I feel like once it gets to the florally, like it's dying off. I don't love it as much, so I probably haven't left it in as long as it probably could be left in. I have it, do I have it going in this room? No, I have it going downstairs actually today. It's nice. Um, I don't think it's like club worthy necessarily. I don't like absolutely love it so much, but it's nice for this time of year. If you're into florals or even fruity, you may feel more inclined to it, but I will probably be mixing it potentially. I'm using it plain by itself downstairs and it's okay. It's just not my favorite. So the best part of the box is we have a sample cup, a generous sample cup. I do believe this is the equivalent to at least two and a half cubes, if not three. So this is a cube. I've cut this down and it's almost, it's gotta be at least two and a half cubes. I can cut this into thirds and put it throughout my office and it does okay. So um, I've moved some warmers. So I only have these two warmers here in my office that I'll put some C, uh cubes in. So I'll probably cut this in half and do it that way. But you could cut this into thirds, it's a massive cube. So this is next month's scent of the month. It's palm trees and ocean breeze. And man, am I excited for this. So it's like a bluish color. The notes right off the top are bright palm leaf and fresh coconut water sway to the rhythm of an ocean breeze. And it's in the fresh category. So let's see if we can get this open. Um, I won't go into like the top mid base and all that until I get my um, actual kit, like my scent of the month kit, which shouldn't be that long from now because it's already like mid month. But anyway, it should ship out really soon. Okay. It's not very strong on the top. It's pretty soft. It's not like hard. Okay. It's, it's different than I was expecting. Hang on. It's definitely different than I'm going to have to warm this. This is like it says it, it doesn't say in the main, it says like palm leaf, coconut water, and ocean breeze. I'm getting like a little bit of fruitiness, which is actually in here. I feel like I'm getting more fruity than coconut or watery, you know, like sea, ocean breeze. Let me continue to warm this with my finger. I'm really getting just like a very fruity note. It's, this is like kind of oily to be honest. I don't know, I cannot put my finger on this. I am going to definitely be popping this into my warmers. Um, I am getting a fruity vibe, which totally does not align with the like overall fresh category. I mean, it's probably like a fresh, type of fruity it's not like oh I can pick out this is strawberries but it's giving me like a berries fruit type of vibe versus like water or coconut that is so interesting that's so weird I don't even maybe it says passion fruit 
I don't even know what to think about that. So I will be popping that into my warmers and I will be talking it, about it in my wax and these video and then when i do get the full bars sometimes it's easier to smell these on the actual full bar versus just this little scent cup um and you know i'll see what happens then then i can like put it in my actual open concept and see how it does versus these little ones i generally put in my office because it's a smaller amount of wax so I will test that out and see how it is. So I'm really excited about this. Well, did you guys get the whiff box? If you did, what was your favorite item in there? Um, my favorite item is probably a little sample cup, but I think my real like non sample product was the Scentsy Soak. I really love the Scentsy Soak. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.